So my uh, friend, business partner, uh, told me several years ago that the future is wireless. Factories are replacing wires. The aircraft industry wants to get rid of wire and control systems. Everybody wants to go to wireless because if you go to the factories, you go to aircraft, you go to ships, you go to oil rigs, it costs as much as only a thousand dollars, hundred dollars, hundreds of dollars per foot of wire to put them into these places. So I said, yeah, I believe this. And I bought myself a mutual fund in wireless. It grew 60% a year for the last couple of years. I said, yeah, it must be right. So then we asked, how can we get some of that money? And this, this was our answer. So what we have is a piece of software that uh, all right, so go ahead. So what we have is a piece of software that does radio signal calculation. So what it lets you do, you get a CAD model in your factory, you put a tra simulated transmitter in there, it gives you a three-dimensional radio coverage. So what this saves you is hiring the Verizon guy to come into your factory with a little device and say, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? Because you hire him once and it's too expensive to do that. The problem is you come in the next day and it turns out that where he told you you can hear him, you can't hear him anymore. So you got to bring him back. And then you got to bring him back again. And you got to bring him back again. Until so you finally iterate and get everything right. So how do you eliminate trial and error in engineering? Simulation. Work for the aerospace industry. It's worked for, for the manufacturing industry, and we think the next thing is it's going to work for wireless. So the gamble we're making here is that the, the cost of simulation technology is going to be going to, going to, be going to make up for by orders of magnitude by avoiding rework, installing wireless networks for femtocells, nanocells, the things to replace the cellular networks now inside of buildings like this, industrial facilities, Navy ships, you name it. Any place where you want to install a wireless network and make sure it works without trial and error, simulation is a solution for that. And we have uh, the technology to do that. So it's uh, so well, so I cover the benefits. So I got to throw in a little bit of science here, right? So there's comp there's competing products. The competing bro products are based on geometric optics. Right? So go back. The problem that you have with competing products is that you the cost of doing the simulation grows twice on you. Once with the complexity of your 3D model. You put in too many walls, you put too many metal structures in there, you can't finish the simulation in a reasonable period of time. You gotta go out to Oak Ridge and buy time and supercomputer to figure out how your wireless network is gonna work. The other problem is it grows with the number of receivers. So if you wanna know how a guy walking through a facility uh, with, a, with a little process control device is gonna get a radio, to see what the radio signal is, you can't do that with the ray tracing model. They were designed for cell phones, where you're going to do, you know, I talk, you stand in place and make a phone call. So, what we've got is technology that's unique in the sense that you can get these simulations inside of very cluttered, very harsh electromagnetic environments and, and do that for life. So, see, right on time. Right on time.